Thank you for attending this presentation on transport. My name is Glenn Gilbert. I'm employed by Answered Airlines of Australia in the data processing department. During this presentation, I will give you ideas as to the employment areas within transport companies that use computers as work aids. I will also attempt to give you ideas as to the future working environment. Transport generally can be broken down into four forms, air, sea, road, and rail. These forms can become two major areas, transport, correction, passenger and cargo. Unlike most companies that manufacture or sell goods, such as clothing, food and cars, transport companies sell a service. That is, they sell a seat on a plane, a seat or berth on a train or space on a truck for freight. Customers of com transport companies very rarely see behind the scenes of that service provided to them. The most significant areas behind that service are as follows. Mechanical maintenance, reservations, arrivals and departures, pickup and delivery, and issue and replenishment. Computers have been progressively introduced into many facets of transport operations lifting service to the passengers to levels impossible only a few years ago. The pace of the implementation of new duties for the computers is likely to increase in the years ahead. Passengers also have the assurance that a computer is keeping count of the operating hours of each aircraft, coach, boat and truck to ensure on-time servicing and replacement of parts. Although computers achieve in milliseconds what would take a transport employee days, weeks or even months, there can never be a replacement for people. They do, however, enable staff to operate more efficiently. To give you an idea of the areas of employment associated with computer-related jobs, we will look at two forms of transport, removal and storage and an airline. A fictitious Mr. Smith has been transferred in his job to Sydney. We will see how Mr. and Mrs. Smith prepare for their departure and how the transport companies provide their service. All forms of transport services have similar areas of employment as the two we will follow through this presentation. Mr. Smith has arranged accommodation in Sydney until he can buy a house. Therefore, he must arrange for a removalist to take his furniture and store it for him. The phone call to a removalist starts the ball rolling. A clerk will write out a request form that will be used as input to the computer. The next day, a quotations officer receives a computer printed form for each of the houses he will visit. When he arrives at Mr. Smith's home, he completes the boxes on the form and marked space required and cost of removal and storage. On his return to the office, his completed forms are then used as input to the computer. From the information supplied to the computer by the request clerk and the quotations officer, a plan is constructed. The plan shows the furniture will only fill half the space available in one truck. A scheduler will compare various plans produced by the computer. His job is to fill all trucks, thus giving the company a higher profit margin. Again, he will use a computer to help him in his decisions. In the meantime, Mr. Smith must make an airline reservation. A phone call to an airline reservation clerk tells Mr. Smith the flight times for the day of travel. The reservation clerk uses a visual display unit termed VDU as his aid. The VDU is connected directly to the computer. Flight times told to Mr. Smith are shown on that VDU. A flight is selected and the reservation clerk enters the required details on the VDU and informs Mr. Smith that his tickets will be available at the airport on the day he is flying. It is the now the day for the removalist company to pick up Smith's furniture. 
truck driver receives a computer printout showing him he has three lots of furniture for his transportation to Sydney. The printout also informs him the amount of space each lot requires and which order his truck must be loaded. Before the Smiths arrive at the airport, we, will sh we shall have a look at a list of people that have already used the computer as an aid in their jobs. In the removalist company, we had the request clerk, the quotations officer, a scheduler and a truck driver. In the airline company, we have seen so far a reservation clerk. As with all planes, the plane that will fly Mr. and Mrs. Smith to Sydney must have routine mechanical maintenance, the fuel tanks filled, food put on board, and the crew know which plane they are flying. So before we rejoin the Smiths, let's look behind the scenes. All flying, all flying times of all planes are recorded just as you keep a check on your car's speedo. Maintenance records clerks feed the computer with flying times and other relevant data for each plane. The computer tallies service hours and automatically will advise when service checks are due. Maintenance planning officers use the information supplied by the computer to plan normal day-to-day -day mechanical service and major overhauls with greater accuracy. When a plane is in the hangar for service, a senior engineer checks the computer records of all parts of the plane to see if any of them need replacing. When a part must be replaced, a storeman issues the new part. He then enters this information into the computer. The computer will automatically update its records and issue a reorder form to a supply clerk. The supply clerk will assess all reorder forms and tell the computer how many new parts they require to buy. Meanwhile, the plane has been serviced and is towed to the tarmac area adjacent to the airport terminal. For all bookings made by the reservation clerks, a printout shows the pilot how many passengers are booked to fly. This information, together with weather details supplied by the Weather Bureau computers, allows the pilot to calculate how much fuel the plane will require. We now rejoin the Smiths as they arrive at the airline ticket counter. A booking office clerk will inquire on her VDU as to the Smiths' flight details. Upon confirmation, the computer will automatically print the required tickets on a special printer. Mr. Smith then presents his tickets and baggage to the check-in. While they enjoy a cup of tea, we will have a look at some of the computer-related jobs at the airport that are required to get the plane in the air. A mini-computer is used to keep workers informed of arrivals and departures. The computer is updated by operation controllers and the information is displayed throughout the terminal on VDU monitors. Baggage loaders check the computer monitors to see which plane they must load the baggage onto. The aircraft refuelers also check the monitors to know which plane the pilot has asked them to refuel. Catering people require the monitors. Ground engineers are assigned to a plane from when it lands until it leaves. They must also check the monitors. And last but not least, the pilots and hostesses will also find where their plane is on the tarmac by checking the monitors. Before Mr. and Mrs. Smith board the plane, they require seat allocation. A traffic officer uses a computer printout to tell him the names of all the passengers. He uses this printout to issue seat numbers. Now on board and flying to Sydney, we will leave Mr. and Mrs. Smith and review the list of people who have come in contact with transportation computers. In the removalist company, the request clerk receives telephone and letter requests. He answers queries as to the costs and of course fills in the request form for computer input. Quotations officer receives the computer printed quotation forms for the homes and business companies he must visit. 
He will assess the size of removal and storage and of course fill in the quotation form as input to the computer. The scheduler assesses computer produced removal and storage plans. He uses the computer as an aid to make sure all trucks are full. His main aim is to gain the maximum profit for the company. The truck driver receives computer produced load sheets. He loads, drives his truck and at the destination the load sheets are used as input to the computer for the production of invoices. In the airline company, as in all transport companies, maintenance has a very high priority. And the records clerk vets all operational hours and component change documents and inputs the relevant data to the computer. He also updates computer records with Department of Transport standards. The planning officers use computer printouts of aircraft status and required service checks to schedule aircraft into the workshop. He also keeps check on Department of Transport standards being adhered to. Senior engineers use VDUs to check aircraft and component history and also the availability of spare parts. The storeman, as well as checking availability of spare parts, updates the computer inventory system as to issues and replenishment. Supply clerk receives computer produced reorder forms. He assesses new purchases and updates the computer so that orders may be printed automatically. Reservation clerks advise intending passengers of flight details, hotel accommodation, weather forecasts and car rental facilities which is stored and updated in the computer daily. And of course, he must make necessary bookings through his VDU. The booking officer deals with the public personally, where the reservation clerk dealt with them by phone. But the booking office clerk accomplishes similar tasks, tasks to the reservation clerk, as well as issuing tickets from the special computer printer. Operation controllers feed a mini computer of aircraft arrivals and departures. They continually update the computer with changes required by such delays as inclement weather. The information in the mini computer is displayed throughout the airport on VDU monitors. Pilots and hostesses require computer printouts of passengers and weather information to fulfill their job prior to takeoff. Traffic officers use computer printed passenger lists to allocate seat numbers. After a flight has departed, they then input to the computer passenger statistics. Aircraft refuelers, baggage loaders, ground engineers and catering officers must read the VDU monitors as to arrivals and departures in relation to their various jobs. Catering officers also receive prior to flights passenger statistics to enable them to prepare food and drinks. Not only in transport but also in other companies there are three areas that computers play an important part as aids. Accounting, management and of course computer departments. I don't intend to talk on these areas as they will be covered in other presentations during this Congress. Many of the areas of employment you have seen in this presentation are now being upgraded to incorporate new technology in the computer field. In the forthcoming years, we will see an acceleration in the present trend to real-time computer systems for all aspects of transport operations. Transport companies are looking to computers to streamline their service to the public. Employees within these companies will use VTUs to communicate directly to the computer. Printed reports will only be used for management reporting and employees whose jobs require them to be away from the office environment. Many computers are becoming an important aid in transport. 
As we saw, the airport terminal could also be possible for many computers to be installed on a ship or a train. Where necessary, information could feed these computers via magnetic tape from the company's head office. Between now and the 21st century, many transport areas that are not using computers will utilise their facilities. As with airline and removalist companies, coach, freight and shipping companies use similar techniques to run their operation. Jobs in all these companies vary slightly, but the use of computers as aids for the employees is here to stay.